Hello everyone, this is the video where I show you how to download and process CSV data from a Lambda function. Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests for this topic and uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it really quick. It's a pretty simple task. So this is the file that we're going to be processing here. This is a historical count of hurricanes per year and month. Uh, so in the first column we have the month, May through December. Uh, the second column is the average number of hurricanes across all years. And the third through the final column are the years. So for instance, in 2005 and May, we had zero hurricanes. 2005 in June, we had two hurricanes, so on and so forth. So this is the data we're gonna be processing. So I'm just gonna copy this to my clipboard so that I can reuse it in my actual function. Back in the console here, I just created a pretty basic Lambda function called CSV Reader. This is with all the default properties, nothing special, using default IEM role, default timeout, default everything. Um, one thing to keep in mind that I am using the default VPC as well in this account, and this Lambda is bound to that VPC. Uh, if your VPC does not have outbound internet access, you need to grant it permission. So make sure you do that prior to doing this tutorial. If you don't, you're probably gonna have some connection timeout problems or just some miscellaneous errors when you try to make the call. Uh, so make sure you do that prior to this. So I'm gonna click on CSV Reader here. We're gonna go into the function. This is in Python 3.7. And here we are. Let's just make this a little bit bigger so everyone can see. And let's just get rid of some of this stuff here. We don't need any of these libraries. Okay, so we're going to be using the CSV library. This allows us to process CSV content. Uh, we're also going to be using the requests library to make a request. And in some cases, you'll have to actually import this library by you know, copying the source code into here or zipping up your Python code into a, a package and importing it into the Lambda function. But fortunately for us, the request library is provided through the Bodo Core uh, library. Uh, so we can say from Bodo Core vendored import requests. So this will give us the request library so we can easily make an access to that URL. I just want to make a reference to the URL now that we're going to be downloading the file from. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is just create a session object. This is just a prerequisite when if you're using the request library. Uh, the second thing is we want to actually call the URL using that session. So we're going to say raw data is equal to session.gets and then you put in the URL, which is this guy up here. Okay, and then we need to decode the content into UTF-8. So we're going to say decoded content is equal to raw data dot content dot decode. And we're going to decode it on UTF-8. And now we need to split the data. We're using the comma delimited. If we take a look at this data again, it's comma delimited. Uh, you may have space delimited or tab delimited or something else here. Uh, so we're gonna specify that here so that we can read the lines incorrectly. So we're gonna say reader is equal to csv.reader. And we're gonna point that to decoded content. And we're gonna say split the lines. And now we set our delimiter here, delimiter. Limiter. I think that's right. And we're going to say we are comma separated. So if you're tab separated, you put tab. If you're space separated, you just put space. Uh, so since we're comma, we're just going to leave that as it is. Uh, okay, so after that, we need to actually get the rows. So we're going to say rows equal to list reader. And so we're going to have a list of lists now where every entry is a row. So now we want to parse over all of the rows and print them out. So let's say for row in rows print row. Okay, so just as a recap of what we did here, uh, we have our URL, we have our session, we're extracting or making the call to get the raw data, decoding it into UTF-8, processing it using the CSV library, and then just converting it into a list of lists. So let's actually test this out now really quick. Configure test events. We're not reading off the input here, so we can do whatever we want. And just before I run this, one small point. Uh, this is just going to output the rows. If you want to kind of convert this into a Python class, uh, you're going to have to write your own serializer deserializer here instead of just printing it out. Uh, so let's just run this, make sure it works. Enable to interport module. Bodo core. Oh, typo. Oops. There we go. And click on test. Ooh, another one. Bodo core dot vendored oops vendored save there we go finally okay so then we see here that we have the 
um, CSV data in each row. So like I said, if you want to convert this into a first class Python object, you need to write a little converter right over here. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to check out my other Lambda function videos on my channel. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on next week's video. Thanks so much, folks, and I'll see you next time.